Is it really dusk? Yeah, it is too. Good thing we did um, settle down then, Kim. Right, we'll check the local area down here first. Ooh. Rusty bread, coconut, an adept chest. This is my, my kind of town. Are you sure there's an adept chest? Because that certainly didn't seem like an adept chest to me. Ooh, ice claw. You can never have too many ice claws. That's for sure. So, village, huh? Dates, coinage, protection from fire. Uh, not sure who you are. I think I, I meant to know who you are. Am I going the wrong way? He did say the village is down that way. Yeah, he did. Okay. I'm going the right way in a sense. This place is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be for a village. But it's good though. It's like a giant compound you can stay in when the going gets tough. Which they probably do. Whoa. This is very nice. I might retire here. Although the heat doesn't really agree with me that much. That's the problem. Ooh, moon glow meadow discovered. Excellent. Give me your sweet, sweet experience. I'm expecting not to be attacked in here. But we never know. It certainly seems like a place with hostile enemies in it, but there's... Nothing to indicate that just yet. It wouldn't make much sense if there were, were hostile things here. Oh, I just want to explore this village now. Wow. This feels like its own little satellite city to me. Walk blessed. Walk blessed, sir. I had questions, but you don't want to answer them. You there! has the greatest father in the whole world. Sometimes I'm really jealous. Yes. Okay. Luna Renes is pretty popular. What blessed. Hmm. You're not from around here, are you? I don't think I've seen you here before. Somehow. No, I'm from the outside. Hmm. Could you by chance help me find my way around here? Um, sure. Why not? But you'll have to be a little more specific. What exactly are you looking for? I'm looking for a place to buy equipment, armor, weapons and the like. A merchant? Hmm. I take it you've already seen the Silent Moons Inn. Tahara probably can't offer you more than provisions, but I'm sure she won't say no if you're looking to sell. Then there's Robach and his little ship on the outskirts of the village. And finally Oliel in the marketplace. Not much, I know, but we don't get visitors here very often. That's disappointing. Hmm. Do you know any places around here that are worthwhile for an adventurer? Hmm. You could take a look at the ruin near the oasis, or the one on the beach. That is, if you know how to fight off the wild animals around there. Oh, simple enough. But I don't know. Do you really think that's a good idea, risking your life for some filthy lucre? I don't know. Lucre? Uh, do you happen to know where I could find a boy named Rhaenys? Rhaenys? I was told he lives here. Rhaenys? That's the one. Of course I do. A great lad, really. Did you know we owe all of our wealth to him? Without him, this place would be nothing. Ah, I'm rambling again. If you're looking for him, he and his father live on the next to last house on the cliffside of the village. Good. I think they'll be all. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. What would this world be like without people helping one another? Take care and enjoy your stay here. You'll see. This is a beautiful spot on Earth we have here. It really is. There's something wrong, isn't there? 
There has to be something wrong with this village, or else Harm's Queen can be a tyrant and ruin something pretty good that they got. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. Hello! Walk blessed. You! Walk blessed, walk blessed, and welcome to Silent Moon's Inn. You're not from around here, are you? How can I help you? I need to stock up my provisions, have anything? Sure do. And you know what? Take this on the house as a welcoming present. It's a handmade date cake. The best in the entire desert. We don't get visitors too often. Oh, you're very kind, aren't you? I'm gonna buy some stuff off you. Another date cake. And some breads. At least three of them. That seems like all I really want. Unless you got something that you can buy off of me. Like a bird egg. I still have no idea where those eggs are. Like, they're not respawning, they're not coming back. I've checked my inventory multiple times. I don't have any, any memory of actually collecting those eggs around the Frostcliff Tavern, so unfortunately I'm going to have to say that I probably have to look at other means of acquiring them. I've waited long enough, I think, so you got to do what you got to do, right? Right. Now, you had other things to say. Uh, Sun Moon's Inn. That sounds a little saintly for an inn. <laughs> yes, I won't argue with that. And do you want to know something bizarre? I don't have the slightest idea why my companion and I chose the name back in those days. The memory seems a little... blurry. Unreal. Huh. But I guess that was due more to the brandy than anything else. Greetings. I'd like to know a little more about the village. It seems quite... peaceful. Yes, you're right. I haven't been on the outside for ages, and honestly, I don't plan to change that anytime soon. Most of this place's beauty is owed to the river that comes from the mountain. There's a nice little legend about how it came to be. Care to hear it? Go ahead. Alright then. I'm sure you already saw the ancient ruin near the waterfall, didn't you? It is said that once a wealthy couple of Sublime Path lived there. They were tired of the mainland's never-ending troubles, and thus moved here. Which is an odd choice, especially considering that before the oasis grew, this place was little more than dust and sand. But nevertheless, they did, and they hired the best craftsmen in Doonville to build them a home here. Fruit, bread, and water had to be brought here weekly. Lavish, but it worked. After a couple of years living there, the woman gave birth to a child, Sineri, a healthy boy, young and strong. Only six months after his birth, he already knew how to speak and walk. It all seemed as if the family would lead a happy life there for years to come. But then, something strange happened. The Myrads stopped coming. Days passed, weeks, and finally, moons. No matter how long they waited, they just wouldn't come. And slowly but surely, their provisions would run out. The route to Doonville was far too perilous to be traveled alone, so they were trapped. We will die here, the father said as they sat together one day, he and his wife emaciated and weak, since they saved all the food that was left for their son. Sonari was desperate. He screamed, cried, and asked the gods for help, but he was powerless. One grey, desolate morning, it was over, and both his mother and father were dead. Weakened and starving himself, the son then stood in front of his beloved parents' bodies, fell to his knees, and whispered, Why is this happening to me? What have I done to deserve such cruelty? And he started crying. And then, a miracle happened. As the first tears reached the dusty ground, a flower started sprouting, and only a second later it was fully grown. Then grass, and then, just like a flood, a wave of life crashed through the dusty valley, 
and everywhere wonderful plants and trees came into being. And finally, before the boy had even realized what had happened, a stream of water crashed through the rock. And as Suneri lay there, his body fragile and his eyes wet, he realized what he had done without understanding how. He smiled, closed his eyes, and died. Well, that's it. According to the legend, the grove has been the way it is now ever since then. So, how did you like the story? It was wonderful. Thanks for telling me. Oh, you're welcome. It was one of my favorite stories when I was younger, despite the ending. <laughs> Greetings. It's always tragic, isn't it, these stories? Mm -hmm. Someone has to die. Hello, dance. Bard. Ooh, bard. Bard, 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 bard. Go and let me talk to you, bard. You. No more today. I didn't bring you anything, but okay, I won't. No, I'm not gonna game. It's just silly. Gambling's for suckers. Okay, nothing else in the tavern that's worthwhile. That's just a... So good. Okay, now. Hey, it's uh, the fella's house. Renius. This is it. I'm not gonna go. Uh, yeah, well, hey, we're here. I see some dead chickens. What foul magic is this? My daddy. Oh, God. Daddy? Oh, you look just like him, too. Hello. What? Who are you? Can I help you? Father? Um, I beg your pardon? Nothing, it's just you, you... You look like someone I knew. Okay, that's interesting. But, well, what is life but a sequence of weird coincidences? How can I help you? I don't think I've seen you around here before. Um... I'm looking for a boy named Reneus. Take it you're his father. Foster father. But yes, I am. Why do you ask? Do you know Reneus? No, not personally. I need to speak to him, it's urgent. Is it? Well then, be my guest. His room is just through that door over there. I think he's reading at the moment, but he always likes company. See, it's your story. How come you took him in? Life in these parts of Endral must be harsh even without a child to take care of. Hmm, you sure ask a lot of questions, my sir. But okay, why not? You know, I'm a widower. My companion and I always wanted to have a foster kid before Reneus. But as you said, life here was harsh, especially before Reneus discovered the silver veins. Frankly, we barely had enough to eat ourselves, and there weren't exactly a lot of orphans around here to take in either. Well, when my companion died, I was occupied with my thoughts, as you can imagine. Flesh maggots. There was nothing I or the apothecary could do for him. And Reneus appeared out of nowhere, discarded like a blunt knife. I saw him and I just... I don't know. How could I just leave him there? What kind of person could? It was demanding at first, to say the least, especially with his condition. But even then, I never regretted it, not for a second. Maybe it's a way of honoring the memory of my companion. I don't know. In any case, I'm glad it all happened like it did. Here in Silvergrove, we are all one big happy family. And every day, I can feel how happy Reneus is, knowing that we all accept him and love him, no matter what. So this is a village for outcasts, people who aren't exactly... Welcome in normal society. Which would mean that 
a man loving a man, or a woman loving a woman, might be considered pathless. Interesting. Hmm. It's gonna let me a complete stranger roam around your house. You people around here sure are trusting. <laughs> yes, maybe we are. But you know, trust has to start somewhere. And in my experience, it is always rewarded. We have never had any problems with new people in Silver Grove. Never. And I have a hunch that's not about to change now. Alright, thank you. One more thing. Is it true that Reneus recovered from his... disease? Well, you sure know a lot about my boy, considering that you've never seen him before. But yes, it's true. He's as healthy as a horse, and has been for quite some time now. For some reason, those tumors he had started healing shortly after he arrived here. And no, I don't know why. And frankly, I'm not sure I want to. Some questions are better left unasked, as the saying goes. But you know what? Even if that miracle hadn't happened, it wouldn't have made a difference. Not here in Silver Grove. We would never have abandoned him like the ones who brought him here did. Reneus has a good heart. And that's all that matters. There's something so wrong here. Oh. Please be a cold village. <laughs> Please be mind control or something. I don't want to rip this boy from his father. Oh. Gods, what am I doing? 